For this problem, we want to use the graph of f to determine a, the domain of f of x, b, the range of f of x, c, f of zero, and d, any x values for which f of x equals zero. For letter a, the domain of f of x is a set of all x values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of x is negative four and the highest value of x is positive four. This means that x is between negative four and four. Since the domain is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as negative four, four, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter B, the range of f of x is the set of all y values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of y is negative six, and the highest value of y is positive six. This means that y is between negative six and six. Since the range is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as negative six, six, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter C, f of zero is the value of the function when x is equal to zero. Looking at the graph, we can see that the value of y is zero when x is zero. This means that f of zero is equal to zero. For letter D, we want to find any x values for which f of x equals zero. Looking at the graph, we can see that when y is equal to zero, x is negative four, zero, and positive four. So the answer for letter D is that x equals negative four, zero, and four. These are the final answers.